Should plants and animals from other places live here? Point Counterpoint New arrivals welcome. Non-native species are good for the economy, and they taste good too. Some of America's most important immigrants are plants and animals. Called non-native species, these creatures arrive here from other regions or countries. Non-native species are known as invasive when they harm the environment, our health, or the economy. Invasive species often take over a widespread area and overwhelm native wildlife. The population of some native species has declined because of a few newcomers, but the news is not all bad. We would be a lot worse off without some of them. In Florida, for example, about 2,000 species of familiar plants and animals are non-native. These include oranges, chickens, and sugarcane. In fact, 90% of farm sales can be traced directly to non-native species. Non-native species help to control insects and other pests that harm crops. Some scientists identify a pest's natural enemy and bring in non-native enemy species, such as insects, to kill the pests. Killing the pests is a good thing, and an even better result is that pesticide use is reduced. Vidalia beetles were transported here from Australia to eat insects that killed citrus fruit. The beetles completed their mission without any side effects. They also help keep citrus farmers in business. Not all new arrivals benefit humans. However, many non-native species are just what the doctor ordered. Many of the dogs and cats we love so much originated in other parts of the world. Would you want to ban Labrador retrievers and Siamese cats? Creatures like these surely make our lives and our nation better. Counterpoint. Point. A growing problem. Thousands of foreign plant and animal species threaten our country. Visitors to the Florida Everglades expect to see alligators, not pythons. These huge snakes are native to Southeast Asia, but about 150,000 of the reptiles are crawling through the Everglades. The probable reason they got there is that pet owners dumped the snakes in the wild. Now the non-native pythons have become a widespread menace, threatening to reduce the population of endangered native species. Some non-native species may be useful, but others are harmful to the nation. It costs the U.S. $137 billion each year to repair the damage these species cause to the environment. The trouble occurs when non-native species become invasive. Invasive species are a nuisance just about everywhere in the nation. For example, the Asian carp, which was introduced unintentionally to the U.S., has been able to thrive in the Mississippi River and now threatens the Great Lakes ecosystem. Because of its large appetite, the population of native fish has gone down. Some germs are also invasive species, and they are especially harmful to humans. One, the avian influenza virus, came to the U.S. carried by birds. This microbe can cause a serious lung disorder in infected people. Some agricultural experts have introduced non-native species on purpose to improve the environment. However, this can sometimes create unexpected problems. A hundred years ago, melaleuca trees were brought to Florida from Australia to stabilize swampy areas. Now millions of the trees blanket the land, crowding out native plants and harming endangered plants and animals. The facts about this alien invasion led to one conclusion. We must remove invasive species and keep new ones from our shores. Non-native species, benefits and costs. Over the years, about 50,000 non-native species have entered the U.S. These four examples show the positive and negative impacts they can have. Chart. Species. Native land. When and how introduced to U.S. Positive impact. Negative impact. Species. Horse. Native land. Europe when and how introduced to U.S., early 1500s, on purpose. Positive impact, used for work, transportation, and recreation. Negative impact, made large-scale wars possible. Species, 
Kudzu, Native Land, Asia, When and How Introduced to U.S., Early 1800s, On Purpose, Positive Impact, Stops Soil Erosion, Negative Impact, Crowds Out Native Plants, Species, Olives, Native Land, Middle East and Europe, When and How Introduced to U.S., Early 1700s, On Purpose, Cultivation Began in 1800s, Positive Impact, Major Food and Cooking Oil Source, Important industry in California. Negative impact. Uses much of the limited supply of water in California. Species. Mediterranean fruit fly. Native land. Sub-Saharan Africa. When and how introduced to U.S. 1929. First recorded. Accidentally. Positive impact. May be a food source for creatures such as spiders. Negative impact. Destroys 400 species of plants including citrus and vegetable crops. Caption. This community is trying to control the invasive melaleuca plant that has taken over this marsh.